All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Akakwadash, the barns, the apostles, and elders of great millstone are teaching us the warmth and truth according to the bottom rule well, and peace and blessings so like the nation of Israel take through spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Shai. And do a Psalms uh, 91 walk and talk. You know, just getting some air. You know, going for a walk is good. You know, being, it's, it's good to get, you know, those walks in. And um, just kind of decompress from and detach from the technologies that Esau Edom tries to lock you into. Right? So let's read. This is Psalm 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right? In this secret place where we are dwelling is inside the Holy Scriptures. The truth. You know, knowing what the truth is. Understanding the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shema Shai. This is where our mind dwells. This is what we, as the believers of Yahweh Shema Shai, are constantly thinking upon. You see, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow, under the covering of the Almighty Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So we're abiding under the, this covering being protected uh, uh, from, tim- from from the evils, you know, praying that the Lord deliver us from these evils, these troubling times that we are in, right? And, and wisdom is the good choice, you know, guiding us, leading us in the path of the, uh, of the righteous, out of this path of darkness, that is overtaking this world. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Right? As our enemies, enemies at the job, enemies, you know, uh, uh, two thirds who uh, come up against the gospel, right? Uh, uh, anyone, the elite banking, the Edomites, these other nations, the Lord is our refuge against them all. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Right? So we have a firm belief that the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai are faithful and true, and everything that the Heavenly Father told us to do in these last days is going to uh, come with a reward. You see, there's a reward for bearing your cross. Uh, for sacrificing things, for going through your afflictions with a cheerful mind. There's a reward for growing in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding and faith of Yahweh Shema Shai. And that reward leads to eternal life. Surely he would deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. The, a fowler is a hunter, a snare is a trap. So Esau Edom, who is laying a trap to make a man a fender for a word in these last days, as he's passing unrighteous decrees to outlaw the Holy Scriptures and anyone really who comes up against his uh, beast system, right? It says, surely he would deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence, right? You got... Uh, these Gurkha troops are going to be coming, you know, all the way up to, you know, uh, the, the third woe, you know, the nuclear destruction, right, that will befall America. Surely the Lord is going to deliver us from it all. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch us, right? So through it all, in, 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 in the Lord, we will trust and he's going to show us why we should put our firm belief in him as he uh, shows forth his power in these last days. It says, he shall cover thee with his feathers 
and under his wing shall thou trust, right? The whole angels, you know, have, have been given a charge to protect us. You got angels around you right now, right? You got an angel ready at your beck and call, uh, 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 ready, you know, for you to send up a prayer and ask the Lord for help, you know, ready to, uh, uh, you know, be there. Uh, you know, when 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 needs be. So, Yahweh Shai is on our side. What need us to fear anything that a man can do? We have the holy angels around us, protecting us. Right? It says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, right? A buckler is a small shield that can be used for offense and defense. So this truth is what shields us and, and, and what's off us, you know? It is how we attack the enemy, the spiritual uh, demons, the, the left-handed angels that attack our minds. We attack them with the words of Yahweh by Shemal. Shall we maintain our integrity in this world with the truth, understanding uh -oh, how, how we're supposed to live our lives, dedicated to the Most High, holy, acceptable, which is our uh, reasonable service as we are offering our bodies up as a living sacrifice. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by, day, for by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday, right? So we're not going to be afraid of these upcoming calamities and pestilence and nuclear destruction. Oh, the Lord is going to deliver us out of all of these things, and this is where our faith lies. This is why we continue to uh, wake up, you know, with the uh, the praises of Yahweh by Shema Shai in our mouths, you know, thanking the Lord, you know, that we have another opportunity to, to, to do the work, to, to do the lessons, to, to be examples, you know, of righteousness in the earth, to bear our cross, to go through our afflictions. A thousand shall fall by thy side, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Right? These things, these plagues, just like when you read in ancient Egypt where the children of Israel were in the land of Goshen, there was no hell. There was no uh, 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 destroying of, the, uh, of their cattle. Right? There was no darkness. There was no locusts. Right? These plagues did not touch them because when these plagues happen, you know, we tell you that war, evil, and the pest wars, you know... Uh, civil unrest, famine, that's just the uh, breakdown of a society, <laughs> you know, and Esau Edom, as the Heavenly Father is working on his mind, thinks that he's actually doing these things so he can gain control, but the Heavenly Father, he, he's a man of war, he's not just some brute beast with all this power, no, he's very tactical, the Lord's going to set up uh, pit stops. Lord's gonna have angels bringing us food, right? And the heavenly Father in these last days are gonna show new signs and new wonders, you know, that are gonna be spoken about, and 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 we can't wait to see it. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Right? Because we have made the Lord our refuge. The reward for that is only our eyes are going to see the reward of the wicked. You know, gloom and doom. That's what we're going to see here in these last days. We're going to see uh, uh, people being taken in large numbers. Every you know, uh, uh, you know, people dropping everywhere around us, but the Lord is going to protect us through it all. 
right? It says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. So the Lord is going to have his angels uh, protecting us through us all. And, 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 and that is where our faith lies. So as we are in these uh, last days, we got to continue uh, to cast our burdens upon the Lord. With that, you know, Lord is only edified. Next time I say shalom.